Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro, a channel where you learn web designing and development. In this video, we will show you guys how you can embed Instagram widget on your WordPress Elementor website. So if you are using Elementor drag and drop builder on your WordPress website, you can watch this video and learn how to embed your social media profile, Instagram profile on your website without paying anything. Uh, also, we have created a video in Elementor where you can create vertical sidebar looking header, which is very easy to follow. I'm going to add the link in the description through which you can learn. I've mentioned this video because uh, we have been receiving a lot of comments on this video and uh, you guys are requesting some adjustment as well. So we created an updated version of that. Make sure to check that in the uh, description below. And if you want to learn how to embed, keep watching the video and don't forget to subscribe that channel because there's a magic which gonna happen when you will press this red color button so make sure to press the button to see the magic happening so without a further ado let's get into the screen hi guys welcome back to options pro welcome back to another tutorial on elementor today i'm here to show you guys how to add an instagram feed in elementor what i'll be doing is i'll be adding a plugin here and this plugin works best with the elementor so i think you guys will love this plugin okay now let's just don't waste time and give a quick review on how to use the plugin okay so first of all from the left hand side what i need to do is just click plugin here you guys can see plugin written click that and add a new plugin okay now here from the right side you can search for in Instagram feed and click enter here. Okay, so this is the plugin which I'll be using. It has 1 million plus active installation and I think it works best for the Elementor. So let's activate it. Guys, I need to tell you guys that this is not a paid video or this is not a sponsored video. I use this plugin and I really like the plugin so I'm just sharing with you guys that you guys can use it and I'll be showing you how you can use it. Okay and now let's just launch the setup wizard. Okay. Connect your Instagram account. Okay. Click add new. Okay. So they'll be asking you whether you have a personal or a business account. Let's now use the personal one and connect with Instagram. Okay guys, so we have added our Instagram account. Now what I'll be doing is from the left side, you can see the option Instagram feed. This is the plugin which we have installed. All we need to do is click this Instagram feed and click all feeds here. Okay. Okay, now let's add a new field. Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll be choosing the user timeline. And here you can see the option of next. Just click that. Okay, so here you can click add source. It will redirect to connect with Smash Balloon and it will ask for connecting with my account. Okay, so here you guys can see that. Uh, okay, let's go for a personal account, connect with Instagram. Okay, so here we need to check this questions for basic this is my instagram account which i wanted to add and click next here let's get it loaded now okay so these are my instagram posts which you guys can see on the right side and on the left side here you can do some customization okay uh, let's start with the customization one by one first of all what we have is the feed layout okay so here either you can go for carousal masonry highlights but these are only for the pro version in case you want other than grid style okay so then you can select the feed height thousand okay so however you want you can select the feed height for now it was okay the way it was you can give it some bedding like this or maybe let's 
get back to 5. Okay, uh, here you can see desktop number of posts. So you guys can see 20 looks a bit crowded. So if I want, for example, 8, this looks better. It is okay for the first page and then you can load more for more. And for the mobile version, okay, let's see. Okay, so here maybe four is okay. So yeah, four looks good here. Okay, so let's get back to the desktop again. So you guys can see eight posts for per line. Okay, the next thing which is here is the columns. Okay, so these are the columns for in a column. Okay, so for the desktop, if I want, for example, three, this is how it is going to look. Or maybe if I wanted to add one more, so this is looks good okay and for the tablet also you can do the setting and for the mobile if you want more than one you can do the setting for the mobile as well okay so this is the customization let's get back now the second option which they have given us is the color theme okay so light one dark one custom you can choose whichever color you want i think let's get back to feed layout and let's make it eight okay and let's do some more adjustment let's make it four so i think this looks perfect okay let's get back here now coming to it the header from the left side click header here okay so we have small medium large or i just want to disable the header so i just don't like the header here so we can disable it okay so rest is for the pro version if you want to do advanced customization you can buy the pro version here Coming towards the post, okay, images and video, okay, so, okay, so auto detect is okay for me, okay, so here we can see post which is for the pro version only, load more button, this is the load more button settings if you want to disable the button you can disable it it will disappear but i really like the button so i want people to watch all my feeds so i let it be you can change the name of the text if you want okay so if you want the background you can select the background type here whichever you want black is okay for me the horror style the text color okay and we have the advanced properties as well which you guys can use it okay so load more button then we have the follow button okay so if you want to disable the follow button you can do that you can change the text here change the color the background the whole state the text anything you want you can update it from here okay coming back to what the follow button okay follow button is done okay we have the light box which the pro version can use only so let's get back here okay so I guess the settings is done what I need to do is I need to click from the right side this embed button here just click that button okay copy we'll be copying this link here okay this is that now what i need to do is okay let's just click save here so that in case we need to update it we it's see this saved successfully 
okay now i'll be choosing the page where i want my instagram post to be visible okay guys so uh, let's just add uh, our instagram feed link here in this page the anchor link okay let's get it loaded first okay so for example i wanted to add my instagram feed here so i'll click this and here we'll be adding our code okay from here just select from the right side short code and just drag it here where we want our instagram feed to be okay the code which we have copied before i'll paste it here and click update and let's see how it looks okay so here our instagram feed is embedded okay and the load more button works really fine okay so i really like this plugin here okay if i want to add a heading here i can do the changes okay guys so this is the final look of my instagram feed here and when i click load more this is how it gets loaded i hope you like my tutorial if you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below so that i can add more such videos